What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from the quartering and Elon. No, no. Well, anybody that thought that we would get a nuanced take from Elon Musk about everything that was going on, uh, in, you know, in regards to Texas, uh, doesn't know Elon Musk. I mean, I'm not sure a billionaire who grew up rich uh, and uh, um, have not ha has paid security really can relate to anything about protecting themselves. But, uh, you know, he's allowed a mistake or two. And, and uh, it turns out that there's more turmoil going on at the Twitter board as a Musk loyalist is forced to return to the board. And he mentions uh, how a recession is a good thing. Uh, I guess. I don't know. Speaking of Elon Musk and space travel, check out this awesome product from Galaxy Lamp. Huge shout out to this video's sponsor, Galaxy Lamps. Are you looking for a cool way to add some magic to your home? Well, look no further than the Galaxy Projector 2.0. This lamp projects vibrant RGB colors and laser stars, transforming any room into a magical planetarium. You can control the projector via the app, which gives you full control over the brightness, colors, rotation, speed, on-off, scheduling, and much more. So bring some magic into your home with the Galaxy Projector 2.0. The new Galaxy Projector 2.0 is the latest and greatest way to bring the beauty of the galaxy into your home. The stunning projection system creates a realistic planetarium right in your own home with vibrant colors and beautiful stars that you can control via the app. You can enjoy the night sky anytime, anywhere. Another cool feature is it can be set up to work with both Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant. It can be used on its own without integrating to the app with its six different color pattern settings, three stand system that allows you to put it up against the wall and ceilings. And right now, if you use promo code the quartering, you'll save 15% off. Make sure you use the link in the description below or the pin comment and promo code the quartering to pick up your galaxy lamp today. Why Elon Musk welcomes a U.S. recession bankruptcies need to happen. Elon believes that it would be beneficial for the United States economy to go into a recession and that some bankruptcies need to happen. Tesla's billionaire boss said that domestic economy is in for a rude awakening. He also said that working from home has made Americans lazy. When asked by a Twitter user if he thought there would be a recession, he replied, yes, but this is actually a good thing. It's been raining money on fools for far too long. He then added, some bankruptcies need to happen. Also, all the coof stay at home stuff has tricked people into thinking that you don't actually need to work hard. Rude awakening inbound. Musk was then asked how long he thought it would last. Based on past experience of 12 to 18 months, the tech mogul replied, companies that are inherently negative cash flow, i.e. value destroyers, need to fall off so that they stop consuming resources. Analysts have said in recent weeks that there is a greater risk to the U.S. economy will fall into recession due to stubbornly high rates of inflation, as well as coup related disruptions in the supply chain. Yeah, yeah. I think the uh, most people here, I'm sure this is true all around the world, but like if I have to hear one more unprecedented times coming from somebody who's supposed to have delivered something as promised, I'm going to lose my mind. Everyone's sick of the excuse, and I firmly believe that a vast majority of people are just using that as an excuse. Like, everything's been opened up here in this country for eight months or something like that, and I'm still hearing, well, the supply lines and all oh, the supply chains, and oh, it's hard to find workers to do mason work. Oh. No, get back to work. The problem is you are paying people more money than they were making going to work every day to sit at home and do nothing, and they got used to it. Or they were smart about it, reduced their cost of living, and now they don't need to work. On top of that, there was a board battle. Twitter rejects Elon Musk's allies' resignation from board. Twitter said in a filing on Friday it would not accept Egon Durbin's resignation from the board two days after shareholders blocked his re-election at an annual meeting. Durbin is an ally of Elon Musk who has offered to take Twitter private. Twitter said that Durbin failed to receive the support of a majority of the votes in a re-election held earlier this week due to voting policies on certain institutional investors. Durbin, who serves on the board, 
boards of six other companies, has agreed to reduce his board service commitments to no more than five by May 2023. Silver Lake Partners, where Durbin is the CEO, helped put together Musk's $44 billion acquisition of Twitter, according to the filing. So now he has to, like, he tried to leave, and then they're forcing him to return? Uh, okay. I'm not exactly sure how that works out, but on to uh, Elon's gaffe. And again, uh, when will people learn what AR stands for? This is one of the most frustrating things uh, imaginable. But anyway, Elon Musk revealed a mixed stance on new uh, measures uh, that, that would uh, go against this, the, uh, our amendment provided uh, freedoms in this country. The billionaire Tesla boss said in emails to CNBC that he supports tight background checks. They already do that. This is what I mean about like people talking about this stuff. Like, remember that article? There was an article by some journal. I was like, I tried to buy something. I tried to buy one from Walmart and I was declined two times in a row. So anybody who's ever actually went through the purchase process. Now, I don't know exactly what they check when they check things. And if he's talking about, I don't know, some sort of more in-depth analysis. I don't know. I can't speak to that, but it's, it's clearly coming from a place where, like he just there already are tight background checks. Every time you go to purchase something, they they send you into some you know the database. It's the same people that think that there's the the show loophole. Oh, there's this show loophole. If you just go to a show, you can walk out. No, you still have to do a background check there too. Like you could argue private sales. You know this is this is this would be a, a way for somebody to get something um, that maybe wouldn't normally pass. Uh, uh, a background check but nobody ever talks about that they're like it's the loophole the, the show loophole no you've never even been to one and try to purchase anything trust me now if it's different in other states i'm unaware of that but in, in in my state you still have to do you still have to fill out all the same paperwork because the people at those shows are like actual dealers um he also suggested imposing limits on the sale of certain things so that in specific circumstances, such as uh, a range owner, people living at high risk location can buy them. What? What? At the same time, he backed the second amendment, arguing that constitutional amendment is necessary to check against political tyranny. Duh. I strongly believe in the right to bear is an important safeguard against political tyranny of the government. Historically, maintaining their power over the people is why people did not allow public ownership. Musk told the outlet. Musk weighed in, uh, of course, after everything. You know, this is the whole thing where he thinks Armalite means assault. It's just, no. It's like, if you get that basic fact wrong, then your entire opinion is disregarded. There is a special permit for what he thinks AI, he, what, for what he thinks it stands for. And this is the same crap every single time. Like, let's be honest here. You know, what they're really talking about is disarming lawful citizens. Right? That's what they're, that's what they're talking about. That's, that's what they're talking about. They're not talking about taking it away from criminals. Are they? By the way, for the second day in a row, Twitter stock has increased, which again goes to the consumer confidence that the actual transaction is going to go through. I'm less like if I had a bunch of money right now, and again, I'm not an investor. This isn't financial advice. I don't know. Like you might look at this and be like, well, if the purchase goes through, I'm going to make $14 a share. Yeah. I guess the ultra simple math of it, of course, less fees and all this kind of stuff. But then if he like renegotiates the buyout price to like 35, something like that, you would lose money. Um, the deal absolutely has to go through. And, you know, it's, it's weird. There's a lot of battling going on behind the scenes. Um, you know, as for, as for his Twitter take is one of the few times you see him like really kind of get ratioed. Uh, because you know, his followers, like, 
again, there's already background checks. This is like a simple thing, a simple fact where it's like, just stay out of this conversation. If you don't know any, anything about it, like the most basic stuff. Um, of course the, the band zones, here's the, per, here's a, you know, I shared this infographic yesterday too. You know, there's like 6,300 incidents from handheld and 360 from, from the AR category. Uh, you know, again, yes, when you have like this huge, you know, group of people, uh, affected, we react differently than if it were just, um, you know, I don't know, 20 people in the inner city in Chicago every single weekend, or sometimes uh, as many as a hundred in Philadelphia, nobody seems to care about that. Um, so it's like there, the, for me, it, their whole like common sense, this and that needs no, you know, pick a city, any city, show me these enact, whatever, you know, you find some democratic stronghold like Chicago, which has super strict laws. And oh, oh, they're only out. They just, by the way, it was big news that they just fell out of the top 10 most dangerous cities in this country. Um, how about Philadelphia or New York City? Um, pick any one of these cities and go ahead and do a, an experiment with these laws and see how it goes. We all know how it will go. It will not go. Uh, and, you know, like Elon should probably just stick to literally everything else. Um, you know, I, I think, um, yeah, not, not a great move for Elon, but you know what? He's still a net positive in many ways. I'm starting to be like, I'm starting to lose a little bit of faith that the, that the Tesla deal is going to go through actually, um, or the Twitter deal. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below and make sure you uh, check out Galaxy Lamps, uh, important channel sponsor. We've got a really cool product for a gift or for yourself. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.